so hello friends in this video we are now going to discuss about the pharmacology of gout so for acute gout we use two drugs that is NSAID and colchicine and for chronic gout we use xanthine oxidase inhibitor and many more so first coming to the acute gout treatment so drug of choice is your NSAID okay and in that we use basically indomethacin and if it not responding to indomethacin we can use esteroid also now coming to the second drug that is your colchicine so source is your alk plant okay now mechanism of action of colchicine it inhibits your microtubules okay by inhibiting microtubule it is inhibiting cell movement so it will inhibit your chemotaxis it will also decrease release of chemotactic factors by neutrophils okay so this this through these two mechanism colchicine work by inhibiting chemotaxis and by inhibiting or by decreasing the release of chemotactic factors by neutrophil now use of colchicine first is your acute gout then it can be also be used for phylaxis of familial materian syndrome and amyloidosis side effect most common side effects are GI that is nausea and vomiting and diarrhea will be there now bone marrow suppression is also one of the side effect of colchicine clear now coming to the next so this is a acute gout treatment we use two class of drug NSAID and colchicine now coming to the chronic gout so the first drug is your xanthine oxidase inhibitor it will decrease uric acid synthesis the first drug in this is your allopurinol so it is used as drug of choice for chronic gout and tumor lysis syndrome so allopurinol is a xanthine oxidase inhibitor and it is used as a drug of choice in case of chronic gout and tumor lysis syndrome it can also be given in the less than syndrome and post transplant patient because in this patient there will be hyperuremic state now what are the side effects so side effect is acute gout so very interesting point that uh, these drugs are used for your gout and it also causes the side effect acute gout okay now for prevent this acute gout we can use NSAID or colchicine for at least two weeks because there is a profound uh, acute gout when you start the treatment with allopurinol and you can please uh, comment the reason behind this side effect now most common side effect is your SS hypersensitivity and it is seen with those patients who have HLA B5801 gene positive now second side effect that it also inhibit enzyme orodilate decarboxylase so it causes orotic aciduria it inhibits xanthine oxidase so side effect can also be xanthine stone now the next drug after allopurinol is oxypurinol okay and oxypurinol is a orphan drug clear and it is reserved for the treatment of chronic gout in patient with allopurinol hypersensitivity the next is your febuxostat and it is used in chronic gout alternative to allopurinol so three drug allopurinol oxypurinol and febuxostat now the ne next group of drug which are used in chronic gout is a uricosuric drug that will increase uric acid excretion use chronic gout okay add on to the purinol Drugs including probenecid, losartan, sulfinpyrazone, then benzbromarone, then lesinurad. Okay, this lesinurad is approved in 2017. It is not effective in patients with renal failure except benzbromarone. So you can give benzbromarone in renal failure patient also. Side effect is renal stones. Third group is a uric acid analog. Okay, it just metabolizes uric acid. Clear. Two drug, rasburicase and peglotecase. Clear. Peglotecase is used for treatment of chronic gout. Okay, resistant to allopurinol. And this can be given for the treatment of tumor lysis syndrome also. Side effects are hypersensitivity, with hemoglobin and hemolysis six, six periods. So this is all about your gout. In next video, we will discuss about rheumatoid arthritis.